Grace to you and peace in the name of Jesus. I wanted to talk to you today about anxiety because I hear a lot of anxiety in the community around me. And I know that you might be experiencing anxiety in your congregation or maybe within yourself. These are anxious times. The war in Ukraine, the invasion by Russia, the bombing of buildings, the killing of innocent civilians, that is anxiety producing. Seeing the vast number of refugees fleeing into other countries is anxiety producing, especially when we remember that there are many other places of conflict and need where there are other refugees seeking asylum. The cost of living increase um, seems to be astounding at this time, and so I know people are worried about um, being able to um, meet uh, all of their needs. The, the cost of gas in particular is shocking. I don't know about you, but I went to the gas station the other day and filled up my tank and nearly fell over. I was so shocked at the price. And of course there's anxiety because in most places in Canada, the mandates around the pandemic are changing. So mask mandates are being lifted, full capacity is, is being invited in other places. And that's anxiety producing for people. So I don't know where you are at in the middle of it, that anxiety, but I want to remind you that God is with us in that anxiety. God reaches out to us and says, do not fear, I am with you. God has led God's people out of captivity in, for, in Egypt into the promise of a new land. God has stilled seas and calm waters. God is with us in the midst of troubled times. So whether you know someone in the Ukraine or are just frightened by what you see in the coverage on television, whether you are not anxious about being able to feed your family or pay your rent, or whether you're not anxious because you have sufficient means, whether you are anxious because people are not wearing masks around you, or you're anxious because there isn't social distancing, whether you are back in church or whether you are still worshiping online, know that God is with you. And then know that God wants us to act as Jesus would act, with care and compassion and love for our neighbor, whether it's the neighbor in our congregation, the neighbor in our community, or the neighbor around the world. Be patient, be kind and loving, and share with the means you have for those in need around you. God bless you all.